Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 13. Uh, unlucky for some, will it be unlucky for us? Let's find out. Um, this week we're going to carry on our journey through the world of data. Um, still looking at raw data but this time let's group some of that raw data together or better still let's get autograph to group it for us. So let's have a bomb over here and click on our 1D statistics page and we get a nice little blank page for us there and let's go and grab some data now I've got an Excel file sheet an Excel sheet here full of data about um, weights and ages of people and um, we're just going to uh, take it easy for the start and not have too much data so I'm just going to grab say if I scroll down here I don't know let's grab say 50 odd bits of data right click copy that crack open autograph again and this time into last week we were there now we'll go to enter group data now there's all sorts going on on this page and we're going to get to the bottom of this believe me over the next few weeks but for now I want to focus on use raw data and we'll click edit and a bit of a right click there and paste brilliant news autograph has popped age at the top because uh, we copied that from our excel file I'll put a tick there I'd love to use that on my x-axis and I'd love that as my data set name if I want to sort the ages uh, smallest to biggest I can do if I want to and I'll click OK and have a look here continuous data age is always a dodgy one but I think we'll go with continuous there and click OK and there we go there's our data set with a nice yellow uh, symbol next to it and that has now opened up a whole new world of possibilities uh, in terms of diagrams let's have a look at some of them I'm going to start with this one here a histogram now it's up to you obviously we can be dealing with frequency or frequency density um, and there's lots of options for you to experiment there with but let's just see what autograph does if I just click OK that's not a bad effort now autograph is loving equal class widths wherever possible um, you can adjust those in the um, edit section um, and again we'll talk about that more in future weeks just want to draw your attention here to this lightning bolt that's appeared this is a lovely little feature that autograph has if I click on that I can actually dynamically change the class width so at the moment they're set at 10 I can make them smaller or I can make them wider and we can see things changing in front of our eyes so that's quite nice and we can actually animate that and make that even more dynamic but oh, so much to get through here we best crack on so um, that was our histogram I'll just uh, delete that and just click on it and give it a little delete let's have a look what else we've got here oh what's this stem and leaf diagram yep autograph will automatically put you together a lovely stem and leaf diagram now that is just completely copyable text so you can right click copy paste that into word and all that kind of stuff that's quite nice uh, what else have we got along here statistics box here autograph will do all your complicated statistics for you and uh, save you a little bit of time there from raw data and it will treat it um, as the data it's grouped together so that's quite nice looking at the contrast between group data and raw data and the effects that it has on our statistics um, let's have a look at our table of statistics again that's beautiful look at that it's grouped all our data for it's got all our lovely inequalities and again we can copy all that if we want and if I scroll across oh sorry <laughs> there's nothing else there ignore me I didn't say anything there um, oh god only one and a half minutes to go this is a disaster uh, let's close that I've then got here a beautiful cumulative frequency diagram. Again, loads of things to select there. I think I'll keep things simple. I click OK. Now, that's not a bad effort at all for a cumulative frequency diagram. Again, I've got my animate option just in case I want to change my class widths and see the effect that has on my cumulative frequency diagram, which is quite nice. And I've got this beautiful tool here where I can actually, if I click on that, I can work out my lower quartile. It'll automatically put it to the right place and then I can just move this along and work it out from there and of course I can do my median and all that kind of stuff and I've got my box plot from last week where if I click here again I can line things up with my uh, lower quartile and upper quartile if I just click on that actually I noticed I use raw data there if I go for group data look at that my lower quartile perfectly matches up with my lower quartile there 27 seconds to go right well it's more group data in the next couple of weeks because there's loads to get through keep the emails coming in hope everyone's well and I will see you next time bye for now